Breakfast Show with Nick Grimshaw. Good morning, Lee Tomlinson. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm really good, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. I'm all right. Yeah, what's happening? What's going on? Um, well, I just I just woke up. It's freezing cold. Um, I just I just woke up to cold. Um, <laughs> the, uh, t- telly on and golf's on, so I know it's not going to be a great day today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the golf or not, really? I, I mean, you know, I, I've got to be careful because Niall, Niall absolutely loves the golf, but uh, I've got no time for it. No. I, I do not get it. I don't get it. It's very slow. I don't get it on the telly. No, 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 exactly. It's kind of like snooker like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not good at all. Not good at all. I love that you're like in bed watching the golf of a of a yeah. Friday morning. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, but great to talk to you today because um, we're going to play um, your your brand new single now, which we're we're really excited about playing. You're performing it on the X Factor, um, yeah. and also um, you did the Royal Variety performance recently. So this. Mm. Two big performances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. Um, the the X Factor, obviously. Naturally, it's mixed emotions going back, like super nervous, uh, uh, as well as really, really excited. You know what I mean? You want to be a good advert for the show, and, and you want to do right uh, by everyone, kind of thing. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back. I'm really excited about um, the song itself and performing it, and I'm performing with a live band and stuff like that. So. I'm excited. It's good. It's good. And the Royal Variety performance was crazy. It's surreal experience as ever, you know. Um, I always feel a little bit out of place in those moments. Yeah. But um, especially when you have to do the meet after, you know, I'm thinking, I don't have much small talk in general anyway. Um, <laughs> never mind to this kind of clientele, you know. But it, it was actually really it was actually really nice. It was, I, I got to bring my... Um, I got to bring my band on with me. I kind of slide them on last minute because I was like, I'm going to be stood like on my own, looking silly. So lads, you're just rushing on with me. So I managed to get them to meet um, Will and Kate as well, which was pretty cool. They're the only people that I get nervous, uh, nervous about meeting because I feel yeah, like they could. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I always freak out a little bit when you have to meet them for work. That's the thing because you know you don't want to say the wrong the wrong thing and. Um, and obviously Royal Variety, my new single, it's, it's, um, it's, there's a few swear words in it, right? Which is a whole new game for me. Now, I, will, I have learned the explicit version, shall we say. Uh-huh. And then when it came down to performance, twice in my sound check, I swore and I was like, honestly, this is going to be horrible <laughs> if I end up swearing in front of the Royals. But luckily... Luckily, I pulled it off. I was nervous about that. Yeah, you don't want to swear in front of them, do you? It's like, where's Lee Tomlinson? He's in the the Tower of London (laughs) (laughs) for swearing. (laughs) Um, So talk to me about this song, Miss You, because we're going to play it now. It's the first time we've played it on on Breakfast, and and we're excited to hear this. Um, Tell us all about this. Okay, so um, I'm loads more excited about uh, the Sonic and the way it sounds, this song, because... I think that's what was good about doing the collaborations, you know, with Steve Aoki, BB Rex. Uh, I, with the Steve song, I could, you know, branch off to something a little bit more dancey and then and then BB, something a little bit more urban, I'm talking production-wise. Um, so it's been really nice with this song to just, like, put, you know, loads of heavy guitars on there and bring the live elements back and... And uh, and it's got that it's got a kind of big like anthemic pop chorus and and I've been missing that kind of structure really and it's kind of a similar structure production wise that that we used with with the band you know guitar uh-huh. driven pop um, and and I'm really excited about it. I'm really confident about the sound um, of the song and I'm really confident singing it <clears throat> so I'm in a good place I'm really excited for everyone to hear it all right well let's do this then uh, brand new music for you it's new music Friday on Radio One and this is uh, the next single brand new stuff for you from Louis Tomlinson this is Miss You on Radio One Miss You brand new stuff from Louis Tomlinson Friday morning on Radio One uh, Louis Tomlinson good morning morning there we go exciting getting to hear it on the radio yeah, yeah, it's always nice. Yeah. yeah, always nice, always nice. And so today, I mean, you'll know because this is the day your singles out. Loads of people this morning are saying it's first of December. We need the Christmas songs. Christmas is on. However, loads of people still saying it's too early. I think I think we give this decision to you, Lou. Are you feeling Christmassy yet, Louis? Well, I feel like I, I have to get to today, really, to really start. Because it, it does irritate me, you know, when you get some people absolutely chomping at the bit at, like, the end of October, and they're like, well, maybe we could start... No, no, I like start of December, then you can get your tree, then you can start playing Mariah every now and then. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you saying? It's the 1st of December, can we have Christmas songs after eight, or is it still a little too early? 
I think I think t- I think today's the day. Today's the today's day the that, day. that we've got to make it happen. Yeah. Definitely get yeah. the songs blaring. Yeah, yeah. Get the mince pies out. Get your tree up. It's all going down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going down. Let's do it then. Do you have a particular favourite? Anything you want to hear after eight this morning? Well, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm, if we're going cheesy, we're going Christmas. Sorry, it's me dog there having a having a, having a say. Your dog having an opinion. <laughs> Bing Crosby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves Christmas songs as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. What about last Christmas? Oh Have yes, that one yet? Yes, yeah, yes. Let's do that. That is a tune. Let's do that. Beautiful. That's a good shout. Great shout. Great shout. Um, well, Louis, great to talk to you this morning. Congratulations on the new single. Um, and we'll be watching you on X Factor this weekend. And um, if I don't see you, have a, have a great Christmas. We can officially say that now. It's December. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your time, man. And you too. Yeah. I'll see you soon. All right. Cheers, Louis. Bye, man. Very busy today. Chatting to this guy. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Louis. Louis Tomlinson, he's got a brand new song out today as well. How are you doing tonight, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, lad. How are you? I'm doing very... Thanks for waking up early for the promo. Oh, yeah, of course. It's not that early. Uh, no, I'm making it sound like it is. Um, no, it's not that early. You, I was just trying to pump your tyres. It's fine. You you should have rolled with it. You should have. You, you would have sounded like the good guy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, well, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, how are, how are you, man? What's been... In, since the last time I spoke to you, which was back in May for Back to You. Give me your life in the last six months. How's things? Uh, yeah, it's been good. Um, just, I just did recently the Royal Variety um, here in the UK and that, and that was uh, amazing. Um, but there's been a lot of finalising. There's been a lot of finishing everything. Finishing, you know, like finalising stuff for the tour and like dotting the eyes, crossing the teeth mm. for the album, all of that stuff. It's, it's exciting. But it's not, it's not necessarily that fun, if that makes sense. You no, know what I mean? I, I'm it's... looking forward to getting this single out now and then getting the album out. Tell, tell me, you, when, you, when you say you did the Royal Variety, does that mean you play for the Queen? Is she within easy eye shot of you or is she not there? She wasn't She wasn't there this time. Um, we have we have played there with One Direction before. Do you get more nervous well, playing for her? I feel like she would be like, because she's also, she's always very poised and, you know, you as a performer, you always want someone to look like they're enjoying the show. And because she's got such a great poker face, you'd always be going, I don't know if she likes this or not. Do I do something more? Do I do something less? What do I do now? Well, honestly, <laughs> joking aside, it's always it's always such uh, a such a you have to play the show. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you're always proper nervous. It is one of those gigs where, let's just say, it's very very different to like a One Direction show, for example. There's a lot of food mm. and a lot of like kind of old guys. There's not a lot of people doing this. Yeah, like yeah. There's, there's just like nods of, pro- nods of approval. You sure. Know? There's no put your mother effing hands up in the air, is there? There's none of that. Like it's very like <laughs> let me just sing and let me perform, and then I'll you enjoy the high tea, everyone. Um, tonight though on the show, one night only. His only interview for his brand new song. Hi, I'm Louis. On Nova. Can I ask a question? And I don't know how you answer this, but it's it's a question about the fans. Uh, obviously, as you would know, I, I, I chat to all of the boys. You, you've each done and do, gone and done your own solo things. Your fans seem to be, and, and this is not like as a competition, but they're so passionate and they are so engaged with you. And I don't know if you feel it all the time, but out of all of the lads, your fans are 100% there for you every time I mention your name or say anything on the socials. I, I, I'm definitely aware of that. I mean, that'll, that'll mean a lot. Actually, saying that, man. So actually, 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 I love to hear that. So that's real nice. But um, yeah, I mean, they they are really, really, you know, supportive, dedicated. Um, and what's been a bit nicer, um, you know, in the last like year or eighteen months is because I've been busy, but not as busy. You know, there, there feels like there's been more time to kind of focus on the fans and even if it's just like in passing you know it's not just like a real rush but I at least get like a little chat or a little conversation or I can you know ask them their opinion on like merch ideas stuff like that I yeah. really like to keep them involved as involved as, as possible and you know like the other day I, I was lucky enough to win an, uh, an EMA MTV EMA and the category was amazing right and, and, and it, it's just 
It's just, it just shows how, how amazingly dedicated they are. 100%. I know that there's lo- I'm getting lots of tweets tonight. Smallsy, play the song, play the song. The new tune is called Miss You. We are going to play it in full. Louis Tomlinson is joining us on the air tonight. It's his only Australian interview for the brand new tune. And when we come back, I'm going to get the download from you, sir. What it is about. Where were you when you wrote it? And we're going to play it for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Louie. Oh, I just keep on coming back to On Nova. Louie Tomlinson on the show tonight. Brand new song, sir. It is called Miss You. We are going to press play on it in just one second. But I want to ask about your dog because you have the cutest dog ever on Instagram. It looks fluffy and it looks super duper. I, I'm thinking about getting an animal myself. Is it super amounts and lots of responsibility? It's definitely loads of responsibility. Okay. Definitely loads. Although I'm looking at him now, they are pretty fascinating. He just, he's currently, he's pretty dopey, but he's cute. He's pretty much just staring at himself in the mirror right now. Sure. Pretty random. Like, I see, I'm um, down with that. I'm down, it feels like it's on my level. Automatically, I'm, I'm f- feeling like the animal is on my level. <laughs> And his name's Cliff, and his name's Cliff, and he's a labradoodle. Oh my god, that's I wanted a I wanted a spoodle or a cavoodle because I thought maybe a labradoodle would be a little bit too big. I'm losing all points of masculinity right now, but that's okay, fi- okay. but that's fine. But a golden doodle is a little smaller, and we have one of them as well, Bruce. Really? I see. I don't know if I'm you. A bit like a, I'm almost like a salesman. A salesman. <laughs> really, you are pushing the doodle. The golden doodle's on me right now. I, okay, so it's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I yeah, might good have a dog, good dog. Good dog. A nice, nice placid breed. Like I like the golden retriever nature of it, but I like the the non hair losingness <laughs> that the poodle supplies. Absolutely, you've done your research. I re- research I, like I'm very much on board. Um, now let's level. Let's level out the questions for the fans. When are you coming to Australia? Because I knew there was chat a, a couple of times about trying to work some dates into the diary. Uh, have you got something locked and loaded for 2018? Right, there's nothing There's nothing locked in, um, I don't think, yet. But let me tell you that, honestly, I can't, I, I'm, I'm desperate to come back. Yeah, absolutely. I need to come see you, lad. Come, come in, yeah, definitely. Mate, absolutely. You know what? Early in the year, the weather is beautiful, the sun's shining. Um, now, before I go, the new song, we're about to press play on it. It is called Miss You. Um, can you tell me what I need to know about the song? Where were you when you wrote it? What's the what's the the four one one on it? Uh, okay, so I wrote it in um, LA, and you know it's just about kind of going through motions and and, and and what might look like a really exciting fun time. Um, you know the reality of that might not be you know what, what what it looks like. What I what I appreciate about all of the lads in general, and not to talk about anyone else, but I find it so powerful when mm. when you boys tell the story because you're right from the outside it can look lots of fun and it can look like you're top of the world having the time of your life but it's not always as it sees and I always say you see people's 10% and there's 90% underneath the surface that people know and never really see yeah yeah and, that, and, that, and that's what I go, I'm going for I hope that you know people naturally only see the, uh, the amazing times and I think it's you know especially through music I think it's important to at least talk about you know sometimes it's difficult for all All right, sir, before I let you go tonight, uh, a quick message to the Aussie fans. Yeah, yeah, well, thanks for waiting so patiently. I'm really, really excited to see you guys. Uh, I'm working out and and I'm going to come over and party, so looking forward to seeing you all. The new song, Miss You, out now. Louis Tomlinson on the air and over. And it's only Louis Tomlinson. Morning, Louis. Hello, how's it going? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks. Bright and early on a Friday. Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Full of busy. It's a busy time for you, Louis, because the brand new single is out today. We've had a little sneaky listen, I must say, and we love it. We've just been saying that we thought it was like proper pop song, anthemic nice. chorus. We can imagine nice. everyone singing along mm. in the gigs. Well, how would you describe it? Yeah, well, um, I'd kind of been missing that um, that big kind of pop anthemic chorus really um, until this point, and you know that's kind of what everyone loved with with One Direction. And also, I'd realised that there hadn't been um, enough guitars on the records that I've, I've on the singles I've put out at the moment. So it was really nice to give it a kind of thicker and fuller and more live sound, um, and 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 that was definitely important for me sonically. I feel like this is closer to my. Um, 
my preferred sound, so so I feel good about that. And and lyrically, um, you know, it's um, it's it's kind of written about my last couple of years and me just kind of going out all the time, maybe a bit too much, and kind of just getting a little bit lost and just going through the motions and realizing, you know, and kind of the thick of it all that that I miss this one person. So it's kind of uh, I think we can all kind of relate to that. Is that quite therapeutic for you as well? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I mean, that makes it a slightly more daunting experience, I suppose, because we, you know, we wrote a bit more subjectively, I suppose, within one, within one direction. So here, this is really me um, being completely honest, and um, it definitely feels good, you know, especially when you have a concept that you start out with and you and you deliver that with the lyric. That's always a good feeling. I would say as well, Louis, uh, with your style of writing and looking back at, you know, back to you as well, it's very real, you know, to the point. Um, is this going to be the same for the album? Is that the kind of sound we're going to hear? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I think lyrically it's very important for me to be very honest. I mean, mm. sometimes it's it, it's a bit blunt, but I, I like to be very, very honest, and and I, and I don't really like, you know, really pretty, cool, sexy metaphors, or I, you know, some people <laughs> like to do it. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, it's it, it's it's more about just keeping it real, keeping it conversational. Um, you know, so people don't have to read between the lines. Mm. Um, and it is what it is, really. Uh, also, as well, tomorrow, big day for you, going back to the X Factor. Yeah, big day, big yeah. day. Didn't you perform at the final yeah, last year yeah. as well? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a habit so, for you, this, then. <laughs> yeah, it's an all right one to have, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not a bad. Good gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's always um, super exciting and super nerve-wracking going back to the X Factor. Um, you know, like I always say, we know a lot of familiar faces there, people backstage, stuff like that. So it's it's nice to see people and catch up with people and stuff. But also, you know, you've got to deliver, really, because you're kind of a bit of an advert for the X Factor, yeah. you know. Um, so the, the pressure will be on, but, but like I say, I'm, I, I feel comfortable with this song and I'm excited about performing it, so uh, it feels good. And have you, have you been watching The X Factor? I have, I have, yeah. So, yeah. so can, you, can you give us a little tip? Is there one in particular that you think you fancy? I liked Rayal, who went out last week. Is yeah. it Rayal? I think yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, I think she's a little star. I think she's brilliant. I was quite disappointed that she went out. And as you can tell, I'm an avid fan. Um, I was waiting for this question. And Kevin, <laughs> and and Kevin, he, he's the boy. I mean, he's mm. it's so amazing to see someone with like real musicality on the X Factor like that. Like, it's really cool. Well, it's it's great to it's great to speak to you, Louis, and um, we wish you all the best for the performance on the X Factor tomorrow, and all the best for this new single, which we love, and the new album that's out next year. Thank you. Happy Christmas.